What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the best screen recording settings for ShareX so you can make high quality, low file size clips like this one. All right, let's jump into it. I'm going to be going over a few options today because I imagine a lot of you have probably clicked on this video because you want to see the best WebM settings, which is fine, but WebM is still probably one of the best lowest file size video formats you can encode in, but it's certainly not the quickest. In other words, if you're recording your clips in WebM format, it's going to take much longer to be able to share your clip with your friends and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the settings for that and then we'll jump into MP4 because I think that's way better and it's certainly much quicker. Okay, so if we open up ShareX and then head on over to task settings and then screen recorder, you want to make sure you've got 60 FPS and the only other option is uh, record using lossless encoding. And then we're going to head into screen recording options. And then at the top here, you should have this all selected. For video source, you're going to want to select screen capture recorder and same with the audio. And if you don't have these two, then you can just click here, install recorder devices, and then you'll be able to select them in the list. Next, you want to go to video Kodak and select VP8 WebM file. And then variable bitrate will just be 20,000, which is the max. You can change this if you like. Um, but that's pretty much the settings. For audio, I tend to just keep it Vorbis and Quality 3, and that'll be the same for everything. And those are your settings. So I'll quickly just record a clip with WebM so you can see what I mean, and then you can see the results for yourself. So I've just brought up a clip that I want to record. I'm gonna select the region that I'm gonna record and then just quickly hit play. So we're gonna record for about eight seconds or so. Perfect. Now you can see in the bottom right, it's taking a while to encode this. Nearly done. There we go. So you can see here, the quality is not super amazing. It's pretty good, but this is the maximum quality you can expect from WebM. So it's not actually that great, especially if you compare it to the first clip that I showed you before. You can already tell like in the quality of the image whilst the frames pause that it's way better on, on the MP4. So in terms of file size, let's just have a look. Okay, so we've got, for eight seconds, we've got about 12 megabytes, 12 and a half meg, which is pretty good. Now let's set up some MP4 recording. So back into ShareX, task settings, screen recorder, options. And now in the list, we're gonna select NVINC, H264 NVINC. Now this only applies to a certain group of NVIDIA users. NVINC was introduced in uh, 2012, I believe. Uh, if you're not sure um, when you got your card, you can just Google it and see um, if it's got an NVINC encoder in it. It should be pretty quick to find out. So once you've got that selected, we wanna select a preset. So we're gonna go with slow, high quality two passes. And in bitrate, you can set this to anything you like. I'm just gonna keep mine at 13 and a half thousand because I wanna keep the low file size but honestly, you can turn this quality up as much as you want. So if we X out of this again, and we're gonna take another recording from our clip, and here we go. Just keeping an eye on the time at the bottom here. I'm gonna record about eight seconds worth. There we go. Instant. That's already been uploaded. So you can see here as I flick through some of the frames, the quality is not quite perfect and that's okay because I've got the bitrate turned all the way down pretty much. But if we have a look at the file size, you can see that it's 14,000 and the clip encoded basically instantly and was uploaded straight away. Now for those of you that don't have an NVIDIA graphics card or an NVINC encoder, I'm gonna show you one last option, which is just as good as this, if not better, but it will take a second or two longer to encode. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so jumping back into ShareX again, task settings, screen recorder, recording options. Instead of NVINC now, we're just gonna select H264 and then X64 at the top. Now use your CPU. Now I've already got my settings in. Uh, so preset, you wanna go for slow. Uh, now basically what this does, you can mess around with this if you want, but um, I found that slow is a good balance between speed and file size. So if we just hover over this, faster preset means faster encoding, but higher file sizes. Lower preset means slower encoding, but lower file size. So we're gonna have this on fairly slow. And if we hover over CRF, um, it basically is a variable bit rate, which fluctuates uh, depending on what's on screen. So I'm gonna leave it at a fairly balanced option of 22, which should give us a pretty good video quality. And then the preset is what's gonna keep our file sizes lower. So let's jump out of this and record another clip. So I found the bit I wanna record at. I'm just gonna start now. We'll let this record for about eight seconds or so. 
top. See it's encoding in the bottom right. And it's done. So you can see the quality of this is pretty damn good as well. Very clear. So it's up to you which one you choose really. It's all preference and obviously it depends if you've got an Nvidia graphics card. Um, but I definitely recommend using MP4. If we look at the file sizes for this though, see this one is the latest one we just did on the X264 uh, is 16 megabytes. So yeah, these are the three files that we just recorded. First one was a WebM, next one was MP4 using NVENC, and the next one was X264 using our CPU. Also guys, if you're interested on how you can upload to your custom domain like I have here, then I'll have a card on screen now that you can click to one of my other videos. That's it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.